it's very scary stuff. Uh, you know, the stuff in the cloud is very scary. You've got to be able to encrypt all your data on that, most importantly. And as far as the AI goes, the driverless cars, you know, I mean, those things are are, are, da- uh, are more dangerous than regular driver, driver cars, you know. I, I wouldn't trust it. Well, what about a centralized system tracking everybody? What about a centralized system that put all the backdoor tracking grids into the cars worldwide a decade ago? I mean, this is a planned blueprint rollout of tyranny. How do we counter that? Uh, yeah, that depends on the, on the equipment, the new equipment that they're using in the cars. I, I believe that you're right. There is a possibility that they could certainly put uh, tracking on just about everything you do. I mean, tracking equipment is very, very easy. Now, it's very, very cheap. I mean, a tracking device can be built uh, to fit in the palm of the hand. Well, they just pass it on to you in the cost of the car. It's already been mandated, and now they're rolling it out. It's just so premeditated if people ever got that or understood it. Let's talk to Mouse Link in New York. You're on the air with Captain Crunch. Good day, gentlemen. Um, I wanted to ask about decentralized Internet. It seems to be kind of a central focus of what you're discussing here, but I'm just trying to wrap my head around, like, how us as individual users can embrace these systems and help popularize them. I was reading about a uh, decentralized Internet uh, protocol out there called MadeSafe, and I was just wondering if Mr. Draper had any comments on ways that we can help develop these systems so that we are kind of more immune to these kill switches that are being put out there well i already have a uh, a website i call ecovizo that's e-c-o-v-i-s-o uh this was a website that i put up uh because i i wanted i i had the intention of doing exactly what you wanted to do uh put together a group of people that are interested in and basically uh, removing themselves from the web, but actually still staying in contact with the web in the sense of scooping up data and putting together a completely separate internet or a cloud system that is that is encrypted to the point where uh, the cloud system will be safe to use. I mean, right now there are too many cloud systems out there that still don't encrypt everything. You've got to encrypt everything down to the socket level. If you don't do that, then then you're gonna they're gonna track you down. They're gonna know what you do uh, because there are so many little subsystems in these operating systems like Microsoft Windows, Apple's OS that that, that do and use the internet or send packets through ports that are not known, not very well known. But but and then those packets are not encrypted, so you you got to be able to build encryption systems down at the socket level, and that's what we're doing through ThunderCloud, so that we can communicate through the cloud, totally uh, anonymously and also totally safe from uh, snooping by the NSA. Well, uh, proven by the and and thank you, caller, for the call, for the contact. Looking at this, they forced you, I guess, to see two psychiatrists when the FBI grabbed you. One said that uh, you were psychotic. The other said you were completely normal. But talking to you, by evidence of all your work, you clearly are an accomplished, intelligent person that's trying to help people and has invented so many things that have been helpful. Um, What do you make of the political system trying to say that you were psychotic? I, I I don't know. I I I, I mean these these are records uh, obtained from people that interviewed me, and they've just drawn those conclusions. And I don't care. I mean, so I'm crazy. It's probably good to be crazy these days. I agree with you. In fact, they've got a song called Crazy Like Alex Jones. I think if we were back in Nazi Germany and everybody's saying the Nazis are great and we're saying they're bad and saying we're crazy, well, you bet I'm crazy. Or if the Aztecs were chopping out hearts of little kids, I'd say you're crazy. They'd say I was crazy, wouldn't they, John? Yeah, I would just take it as a compliment, actually. Well, that's from one guy who's been called crazy a lot to another. <laughs> right. I mean, if, I mean, if, I mean, if, if it's crazy to invent a bunch of stuff and help people and have a super high IQ and give everything away for free, basically all these decades, then I want to be crazy too. You're really a great guy.
Thank you. Let's jam in some more calls here. Uh, let's talk to Eric in Wyoming. Eric, what's your question? Quick question for Captain Crutch. Hey, pleasure to speak with both of you. Um, I just recently got into the whole amateur radio, um, ham radio hobby. Um, I wanted to see what Mr. Draper's opinion was on, like, standalone radio communications as well as, like, packet radio and uh, that type of thing in terms of just general communications, but mainly as a, if there's an emergency, um, whether it be natural disaster or a man-made thing, like if they turn off cell phones or something like that. Ham radio is a very good source of communication in emergency situations, for sure. There's lots of packet radio systems out there that exist right now. Some of them are actually using the satellite systems. Uh, I personally don't know. Uh, I haven't really been following up on the latest ham radio uh, technology involved. I myself used to be a ham radio operator, and I used to be uh, I used to be operating on a two meter repeater uh, in the San Jose area back in the day. Just uh, right after I got out of the Air Force in 1969, I got myself a two meter rig. Sure, real quick, what about the move to try to shut down cash? I think it's key to keep cash going so we have some privacy as well. Cash? What do you mean? You mean money cash? Yes, sir. Uh, well, there's always uh, there's always Bitcoin and uh, digital currency. We have a Bitcoin question for you, actually. Uh, there, uh, what's your take on Bitcoin? I think it's great. I mean, I, I personally don't have a bit count, uh, a Bitcoin wallet yet. I'm really thinking seriously of getting one. Uh, you know, Bitcoin uh, gives you a lot more freedom than banks tracking every move you make uh and so uh transactions between two people can be kept relatively anonymously if done correctly i tell you it's a real treat captain crunch stay there do one more segment with us and i want to get you back in the near future john draper in the flesh via skype over the web another invention of a small company snapped up by microsoft just an example of the system saying we didn't build it or small businesses didn't do anything. That's a bunch of bull. It all came from the magical mind of humans. Humans are great. We'll be back. <gasps> hey, Boomer. I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. News flash. Home invasions are on the rise. It takes less than 10 seconds to kick in a door. 10 seconds is not enough time to protect your family. And what would happen if you are not home? Easy Armor is the ultimate security solution. 85% of break-ins are through a door. Protect your home now with Easy Armor. Go to invasionstopper.com to get real security for under 70 bucks. That's invasionstopper.com. Easy Armor. Your security is our only business. If you have candida overgrowth, just taking antifungal agents or starving yourself of sweets does not address the cause. Candida overgrowth is the result of a toxic, damaged, acidic, low oxygen, and inflamed tissue environment. The goal should be to remove the toxins, heal damaged tissues, restore healthy pH, eliminate inflammation, and feed beneficial bacteria. Previous usage of antibiotics or steroids or exposure to mercury or other toxins can damage many cells in the GI tract and body that make you prone to candida overgrowth. Removing toxins and healing tissues should be the goal. One World Whey is a whey protein food that supports detoxification, repair of tissues, and elimination of inflammation, healthy pH, and growth of beneficial bacteria. One World Whey is duly reformulated to be higher in protein and lower in carbohydrate. We believe One World Whey is an excellent food to support your efforts to create a healthy internal body environment. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWhey.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. 
experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine, it comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today, see the informational videos, read the information they're compiled, and for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. I'm watching and waiting for the right time to take everything you own. I love a dark house. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Breaking news coming up. We're going to play Crazy Like Alex Jones. You never heard that. And we'll continue with your calls after our guest leaves us. You can have your comment. Probably not a question. He leaves us in six minutes. Captain Crunch, John Draper, is our guest. And we'll give you his website again before he leaves us. Let's talk to James in Michigan. You're on the air with Captain Crunch. Thanks for taking my call. It's an honor to speak to Captain Crunch. You know, I have to check my budget. I would definitely pay if you, if you did a webinar teaching course online people could with paypal check in and register and pay i would definitely be doing that i'm going to check you out on facebook my question to you also is what programming language is used to make a new programming language and what is your favorite programming language sir well for uh, okay uh there's uh ios for the iphone uh mac os uh and the new the new language coming out called Swift. I'm, I'm getting into that now. Uh, but uh, commercially, uh, for uh, client server applications and web uh, web uh, frameworks, I've been exposed to uh, uh, Django. That's D J A N G O Django Python, uh, and also uh, Ruby on Rails. Uh, I work with both of those systems. And uh, they're pretty. They're pretty secure. Uh, they're easy to make and build, and uh, they've got a lot of security built in. Uh, they are very different from each other. So if you get into one, uh, getting into the other would be difficult because they're so different. All uh, right. Wow. So this is not a dumbed down uh, computer radio, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Grand Daddy Poobah, Captain Crunch here. Thank you, James. Great question. Wayne in Texas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Draper, uh, my, my concern is, uh, you know, the technology we paid for is being used against us, and we're financing the whole matter. Uh, we, we ought to have water parks in every city in this country with the money that's been spent on all this. So, yeah, we need to find the weakest link in this whole system. And we need to pound on that weakest link. And maybe that's going old school technology. No, I, I think know, it's creating our own systems and exposing the bad parts of this system. I think that's the answer. Great question, great comment. Let's get uh, Ms. Tate. Go ahead, Captain. Uh, yeah, that's true. Because you want to be able to have the ability to be able to build your own systems. Small community internets 
that serve a small community of people anywhere between, let's say, uh, five, and five or ten homesteads that are out away support from Support community city. farms, support community businesses, support community, 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 support community media, support micro, support real. Um, thank you so much, caller. we got to move quick. Uh, there's a question coming in here. Uh, asking you, what do you think about the Matrix? Uh, that's what uh, Prophet PX asked on Twitter. What do you think about the movie, uh, the Matrix?